guys. So what am I going to talk to you about today? Uh, first of all, welcome back to the channel. Um, I had a pretty busy week, so I'm only putting out this video today. Um, I'll have something for Sunday. Um, looking forward to interviewing a, a follower. Um, I'll, I won't throw his name out there just yet, but that's going to be a pretty cool video coming up next week. We'll do another live. Um, he wants to show us his car, so why not? I mean, he, let's let's go over and check out more cars, talk to people, make more friends out there. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I try to put out useful information for car people to use out there. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like some of the content you see here. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, the following clip I recorded for you guys. Um, this is my first time building an engine top to bottom. Um, I've done a number of, of other things in the past. Um, engine building has been a little scary for me because it's like, okay, well, what if I mess this up? You know, there are a lot of clearances, tolerances, and torque specs that you got to abide by. Um, but everything's really there in the manual. If, if you find yourself a good copy of a Helms manual or um, uh, a good form out there, like uh, what's the what's a good engine building form that I found for Hondas? Ah, give me a second. Uh, K28.org, that one. Um, you ask questions there, you almost get too much information, like information that you're not ready for. But it's a great place to uh, go ahead and join and ask them um, as much detail as you can. Um, so what am I talking about today? I'm just really just going to cover the, the main bearings um, for the crank. It's something that um, I thought I was like afraid going to. I'm like, oh man, I, I got this going on. I got these numbers. I don't trust a dealer to give me the right parts. I've had issues with that in the past. But this was actually surprisingly pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you right now. All right. So now we have um, the girdle. It's detached from the block. Um, now, if you want to find the bearings for these, like I just said in the previous uh, section, the, the numbers that are on the block, they're here. 33444. Four, four. These are the numbers on the girdle. Now, if you move over to the crank, they're not easy to spot. Um, actually, you can see them pretty good over here. Four, three, three, four, three. And there's some letters up here too, um, CCCC. Those are for the um, for the rod bearings, but we're, we're, we'll talk about that some other time. Um, so if we move back to the chart, this chart you can find it uh, almost anywhere. It's actually part of the uh, the the manual, not the service manual, but the uh, tech manual for the car. Um, now for the crank, you're gonna have either numbers, letters, or room uh, or like dashes, almost like Roman numerals. Um, but I have numbers, so starting from the top to find which main uh, bearing I need for, for this one here, which would match up with this guy here. I would go over to three and then down to four. I'll do that again because I'm not sure where my camera was pointed. I would go over to three and then down to four. So that's a brown um, journal bearing for the uh, for the mains. So that's how you find your bearings. We're going to go and find another one. Three and three. Go over to three. And here. Green, brown. So all you got to do at that point, call the dealer, um, tell them these numbers. You don't have to tell them what color you need. They like you to give them the girdle numbers and the crank numbers. And from that point on, they will find the, the matching part number and you can go ahead and pick them up. I'll probably be doing that sometime tomorrow, um, and maybe I'll show you guys what those look like. But the old bearings are here, if you want to take a look. Uh, this one looks like some material got in there, and scratched it up pretty good. The rest actually look pretty good. Um, I was actually tempted to just reuse them, but I will. You know, I'm already all the way here, um, why should I bother? Uh, trying to save a, a few pennies here and there. Something I just noticed, 
And I'm telling you, I just noted this right this second. See on this on this bearing? It's a little bit of paint there. It's brown colored. And on this one, a little bit of paint there. It's green. So there you have it, folks. If you're building your engine and you get to, uh, specifics about crank bearings and and mains and, and all this kind of information, um, there you have it. How you can go ahead and on your own figure out which is the right bearing clearance for you. Um, these I'm going with OEM spec bearings just to make it easier for myself. Okay, so as you can see, once you have that engine taken apart and you have that information in front of you, um, it's it's pretty easy to move forward. I call the dealer. I told him, hey, look, um, I need these things, and I didn't have to say you have to chart these or whatnot. They just say, okay, well, give me these numbers, and um, we'll get them for you. Um, some of these bearings were back ordered, um, but it was really no big deal. It took only like I don't know four days to get to the dealer. Um, so I hopefully I'll pick them up tomorrow and get a good look at you know what they're at, what they're like out of the box. But as you can see, they're they're right there in the video. They're just journal bearings, nothing really special. Um, clearances are going to be OEM, so I don't have to worry about anything in regards to that. Um, so. Again, if you found this video useful, give it a like, thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like some of the stuff you're seeing here. Um, this stuff that I'm holding here is a gear for our, for uh, what you call it, for the gearbox. So I'm going to be building the gearbox pretty soon. So you can come back and watch that too. Um, it's going to get pretty, pretty busy with, with videos on this channel in the next couple of weeks. I look forward to it and I look forward to sharing with you guys some more.